Hi guys, it's Baz. Welcome to today's video on how to change gears. I'm going to show you how to perfectly change gears without fail, without stalling, without struggling, without the car doing anything weird, okay? So a smooth and simple gear change is what you need to do and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's get to it. So when you're first learning to drive, changing gears is a little bit of a tricky skill to master, but with lots of practice, it becomes quite natural and easy. So you've got to take your time and do it slowly. It can be very confusing with how the gear stick works in relation to the clutch pedal. So if you're a total beginner, just learning to drive, or you've been driving for ages, but really don't like the idea of changing gears and so on, this video is designed for you to get gear changes smoother and better. So let's start with the basics. The basics, first of all, we've got the gear stick here, okay? So um, you've got neutral position. So currently it's sat between three and four, right in the middle, just there, okay? The most gear sticks, in fact, all gear sticks that I know of, are actually spring-loaded. So if I move the gear stick to the left, it's now sat between one and two, first and second gear. But if I let the whole lever go, it springs back between three and four straight away. Same thing, if I push it to the right-hand side, is now sat between five and six gear. I let go, it spring loads back over to into the middle of neutral between third and fourth gear. And pretty much every car I've driven has done this. So um, the way to hold a gear stick is literally you're gonna put your hand on top of the gear stick like this. You don't really wanna hold it any kind of like really fancy way. You don't wanna do any like little, you know, just finger movement sort of thing. You're not actually gonna get a good grip of it with your fingers wrapped around it. So when you do change gears, your hands on, open it, you're not gonna press all the buttons and, and so on. So holding the gear stick at the top, to go into first gear, which is the most powerful gear, actually, it's the first gear is the gear that actually moves us in the first place, okay? So this whole car weighs, you know, over a ton, and first gear is the most powerful gear, but however, it is the actual slowest gear. So this is the best gear to move away in. If you try to move away in second gear from a standstill position, the car is really gonna struggle and potentially stall. If you try to move up in third gear or fourth gear, guaranteed it will stall. It's not gonna happen at all. So four, five and six gears are classed as your cruising gears, all right? So first is your powerful gear, and then as soon as we get to a certain speed in this car, we'll talk about in a second, we change down into second gear, okay? So to go into first gear, all you're gonna do is literally gonna move your hand position slightly out this way, so you're gonna push towards the passenger seat from the driving seat, okay? So holding this way, slightly out to the right, push over gently to the left, and straight up. That's now should be into first gear. Okay, so to go into second gear, to stop it from going into fourth, remember it's spring-loaded, you've got to keep pushing the lever over to the left hand side. Ever so gentle pressure, you know, well, not gentle, but you know, a decent amount of pressure there, and then literally keeping it pushed to the right, uh, to the left even, into second gear. There we have it, simple as that. If you don't push it over to the left, like I've just showed you, then most people will actually go into the middle of neutral, into fourth gear, bring the clutch up, and the car will stall, because it doesn't like it. So. Remember, you've got to push over to the right. Now, to go into third, a second gear, again, like I showed just there, from second into third gear, it's quite easy gear change, but a lot of people find it quite difficult. So you're going to push up, until if you like, click, and then kind of just let it go into sit, sitting in the middle of neutral again, between third and fourth gear, and then push straight up. That's now into, into third gear. Okay, so let me show you that again, from second to third. Up, let it go into the middle of neutral, up again, nice and gentle. There's your third gear, easy. So the pedal work we have, we've got the clutch pedal on the left-hand side, which is up and down. When you push the clutch all the way down, you've technically opened up the gearbox, okay? You've disengaged. Um, so it allows you to actually change your gears. Um, the pedal on the right is your gas pedal. Now we're gonna look at this whole pound coin analogy that I teach my pupils. I want you to think how thick a pound coin is. Okay, not the diameter, it's always the thickness of the pound coin. Um, maybe two pound coins at some point, you're gonna press it one or two pound coins at a time, okay? Let's go back to the clutch pedal. That's just a little bit something about the gas pedal that we can deal with later on when I actually show you how to drive away and actually how to change gears. The gas pedal thing, the pound coin thing will make a lot more sense then. So, clutch down, opens the gearbox, allows you to change gears. Now, what I teach is to bring the clutch pedal up slowly. If you bring the clutch up too fast, you're gonna end up pretty, st pretty much stalling the car. So you're going to bring the clutch up a five second count up. So it's going to be five, four, three, two, 
one, okay? That way, bringing the clutch up slowly gives the power to the engine gently, resulting in a smoother gear change. Now, if you bring the clutch up too quickly, the two plates in the engine bay snap together too quickly and you'll get either a jerky gear change or you'll stall the car, or both. So it's gonna be five seconds of the clutch. Clutch is down, into your correct gear, five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one. So to get another smoother gear change, another little trick to it is when you get to three is when you're gonna add a little bit of gas. So maybe two pound coins of gas, and that will result in a really nice smooth gear change. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at using the pedals, changing gear, and then doing the pedals up again. Let's add that all together, let's dry run that, and let's give it a go. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it all together, see how to actually change gears. So this is called a dry run, a dry practice, okay? So to change gears, it's gonna be, literally, imagine we're in first gear, we've just driven away, and this, by the way, the engine is completely switched off right now, okay? So it'll work very nicely, it's not gonna cause any issues or anything. Um, it could be nice and smooth. So let's imagine we've just gone in, got to first gear, we've just driven away. Now in this car, I teach my people to change gears at eight miles an hour. But like I said earlier on, your instructor may teach you a different speed in, in your different car. But in this car, it's eight miles an hour. So as soon as you get to eight, it's gonna be off gas clutch down. And when you take your foot off the clutch, off the gas pedal, you're just gonna pivot off. You're not actually gonna physically move your foot away. Okay, so it's off, uh, off gas clutch down. And when you put the clutch down, it's always down quickly. So you're taking the power away immediately, okay? As soon as you've put your clutch fully down, you're gonna change gears. So okay, remember pushing it gently to the left, into second gear, then hands back on steering, then it's a five seconds off the clutch. So five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one, rest your foot, okay? Then you add a little bit more gas, a bit more power. At the next speed, which is in this car, is 16 miles an hour, then we change into third gear. So again, it's the pedal work, off gas clutch down, slowly into third gear, so it's up, feel the click, let it sit in the middle of neutral, up again into third gear, hands on steering, five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one. Then you add a bit more power. <coughs> up to the next speed, uh, 26 miles an hour in this car to go into fourth gear, so off gas clutch down, straight down, fourth gear is quite easy, straight into fourth gear, hands on steering, five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one. And literally is, as simple as that. So just take your time, clutch down quickly, clutch up slowly, give the power gently. Now let's actually try that while we're actually driving, okay? So we're gonna drive, go into second gear, and pull back up on the left-hand side. Let's put that together so you can see how smooth the gear change can be. Let's do it. So okay, so now we've got the car started, so now we're actually gonna move off and stop and change gears, okay? So first of all, we're gonna prepare the car. So it's gonna be clutch down, into my first gear, Find a low bite point. There, we can just hear the engine note change in this car. The back of the door dipped down ever so slightly. That's okay. I'll do my checks, it's looking good. And if it's safe, let's slowly drive on. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the clutch up two pound coins, hold for four seconds, four, three, two, one, off the clutch. Okay, now if I add a bit of gas, okay, change now, off gas clutch down, second gear, five seconds of the clutch, five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one, rest of my foot, okay? To go into third gear, same thing, off gas clutch down, third gear, nice and slow, five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one, simple as that. Now I'm gonna take this left turn, so I'm just gonna gently slow the car down, clutch is down, I'm gonna go back into my second gear, nice and slowly. Now take the turn, off the brakes, now hold the bike as I take the corner. Okay, nice and gentle, as I unsteer, I can bring the clutch back up again, okay? And again, I can gently accelerate, change gears, off gas clutch down, third gear, five seconds of the clutch, four, three, bit of gas, two, one. I'm not adding any gas because there's a lady in the way here. Okay, now we're gonna gently slow down, stop, and we'll take a left turn, and we're gonna look at another gear change. Okay, so we've just driven away. Eight miles now, change gears. Five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one. Okay, add a bit of gas, gear change, off gas clutch down. Third gear, five, four, three, bit of gas, two, one. So what the important way to order to do it in is, do the pedals, then the gears, then the pedals again after that, okay? Let me pull up on the left-hand side.
Okay, so what I find a lot of people do, a, a few mistakes that they make is when they go to change gears, they actually they hand off the gears off the steering wheel, go into the gear stick without actually putting the clutch down at all, or they've only just half pressed the clutch. Okay, now when you've only got the clutch halfway down, it doesn't fully open up the gearbox, so it doesn't really allow you to change gears, and they really, really, really struggle. Okay, so what I teach is keep your hands on the wheel, do the pedals first, off that clutch down, then do your gear change, hands back on steering, then do the pedals back up again. That way, you know the clutch is fully down, and you're going to get a smooth gear change. So when you try to do it all at the same time you're gonna have problems because your concentration is actually on the changing of the gear. So the proper way to do it is the pedals, then the gears, then the pedals again. And that is the proper way to change gears smoothly every single time. Give that a go, leave a comment, see how you get on, let me know how you get on. If you've got any questions, ask away. Drop them down in the comments. So now that we've looked at all the basics and how to actually change gears, I want you to actually give that a go, whether uh, in your own car, um, <clears throat> if you're just practicing it, maybe just practice it on your driveway or on the side of the road with the engine switched off, make sure your key's not in the ignition. You could try that, so literally practice that. So maybe play this video at the same time. Um, so remember, off gas, clutch down, change your gears, five seconds off the clutch. What I also find helps is if you count it out. So count it out loud, five, four, three, two, one. It's gonna be seconds, okay? Not five, four, three, two, one, which a lot of people do. You can also visualize, you can sit on your sofa at home and you can actually visualize, you're gonna pretend like you're doing it. Um, so when you come to actually driving and actually doing it for real, it'll be so much more simpler. And I promise you guys, do the gear change just like this and they'll be absolutely beautiful. All right, give it a go. Leave us a comment, subscribe, like this video. I had to say it, didn't I really? It's gotta be done. Um, there's plenty more content coming. I've got so many more hints and little tips and tricks for you to try out. The next video is, how to never stall a car and it's a little secret and it's so 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 simple okay that's the next video tune in